The big problem you have, Mark, is the way that we misunderstand this. First of all, the NHS is not one body. There are hundreds of different bodies mm. working together. Mm. GPs are effectively working in the private sector. Yeah. Each, of their, each of their practices is effectively a private sector health body. Yeah, and that's why they the are, average salary for a GP is £98,000, by the way. Which, which, by the way, I think is massively too much. But anyway... Um, if you look at it, what they, what the certain people in the NHS, certain people, trade off the underpaid, hard-working people in the NHS. So if you look at nurses, unbelievably highly skilled, dreadfully badly paid, twenty-three thousand pounds a year, yeah, and then some other people just sit on their bums. I will tell you something, and this is the reason I've got no mercy for these people. As you know, my mother died of lung cancer during the pandemic. Yeah. Right, that is an incredibly difficult situation to go through. Yeah. Our, her local GP, aged 43, mm. stopped working completely and self-isolated during the entirety of the... He's still not back at work. Right. There are some people who have absolutely taken the mick. I'd use the P word, uh, but I won't uh, on this. But, and I think people have a legitimate right to be furious with these people. No, and of, at the same course. time, and, and, we, and you think to yourself, why is there no equality here? Take some of the money mm. off these wealthy fat cats in these uh, private sector, effectively, GPs' practices and give it to the nurses. Let's do some furnace here.